Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an empties video and I haven't done one of these in a while because it takes me so long to use up products. I try to have a lot because I always like go through it really fast and then they end up being like two seconds long. I always try and go more in depth like every time because I realize how fast I go. Even whenever I'm talking more in depth then I talk faster. So hopefully this won't be too long of a video because I haven't even looked at how much stuff I have. This is what Z bag looks like. I wanted to film this for a long time and I've needed to film this for a long time but every time that I would get so close to wanting to do it then I would be so close to finishing another product and I also waited to finish up a few products that have taken me like eight years to finish. It took me way longer to use these products than I thought. There was like this much left and I was like oh I can totally use that in like two months. Apparently not. There's like two things in here that I feel like will be used up in the next few weeks but I didn't want to wait just for that to happen so I really hope y'all enjoy the video and I'll like to just get stoked. A lot of these things are going to be repeats because that's just what happens though. I still really like filming these. I like watching these because I like seeing people's trash. The first thing is this TheraBreath Dennis Recommended Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. I really don't use this every night even though you're supposed to because it helps with bad breath. It literally does help with bad breath if you use it like constantly. Your morning breath isn't as bad. I just use this when I feel like my mouth just needs that extra like fifth step of cleaning. I continue to repurchase this because it says no alcohol, no artificial flavors or colors, non-burning. So like... It's just all I want. Obviously, I love this. I went through Q-tips. Q-tips you use for everything. They say not to put them in your hair, but who doesn't? Then I went through my native natural deodorant. I know I haven't talked about this literally since March. This is so weird because this is so light compared to my new one. I know I literally said in my drive with me that I was going to do this review video and I never did because I wanted to do the detox, which I did. I just felt like I needed to test it through the summer because March, it was cooler. You're not sweating as much. I have thoughts on this. I did repurchase it, so that gives you something. And this is the coconut vanilla one. I've tried two other mini size ones. This is definitely the best for keeping your smell away. Maybe I'll try and find another one, like if y'all have really good natural deodorants that literally you smell good all day and you're a sweaty person. But let me know. Let me know if you still want to see this video. I just feel like now I know so much more about it now that I've like obviously repurchased it. Some people do reviews literally like after testing it for like two weeks and I did not want to do that. I wanted to thoroughly test it. Then I went through Endless Weekend Bath and Body Works shower gel. I've always used Bath and Body Works shower gel and Endless Weekend is one of my favorite scents. I just got that all in my mouth. If you have any good shower gels that are like either more natural or just gentle on your skin but still smell good because I just love the smells of these but at the same time I feel like these aren't too great for your skin. I have like little bumps on my legs and I feel like this doesn't help. That's what I'm meaning to say. <laughs> Here's the short version. I finally went through this. The apple cider vinegar 4 on foaming clay. It's not called this anymore because they rebranded the whole line. But this is the Freeman apple cider vinegar scrub and this smells so good. It smells like apples. This has been in like literally every one of my skincare videos, any of my routines. I love this stuff. Forever repurchase it. Best exfoliator ever. It does a harsh job but it doesn't feel harsh if that makes sense. Love this so much. This is the toothpaste I always use. It's just nice and gentle. It's just, I feel like this is just a standard toothpaste. Pressed fluoride anti-cavity toothpaste. Cavity protection. Cool mint gel. I've always used it. You know, I use other ones on the side, like either that's whitening or whatever. That's just my main man. I've never talked about this on my channel before. I think I actually tried to film a first impression on this. I can't really remember. My old first impressions for masks, I would never post because, like, I would feel like it would do nothing. Now, whenever I do them and it doesn't do anything, I still post them. What I think did nothing might be a miracle mask for you. I mean, let's get on with it. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Deep Clearing Manuka Honey and Tea Tree Clay Mask and Cleanser. Now that I've tested, like, this whole packet, like, I've probably used this, like, four or five times. I don't think I would repurchase like the huge tube, but I definitely would use this again. It's a pretty thin clay mask. I feel like I use this whenever I want. Not even to say like a quick clear out. That just sounds weird. Just like a more gentle one, I guess. This one doesn't like pull everything out, but your skin still feels soft. It's a very thin mask though, so I feel like this is good for dry skin clay mask lovers. Even though I did just post a video on that. You know, it's a miracle if you like clay mask and you have really dry skin. Click it. Click it. These are always in every one. The Parents' Choice Fragrance Free Baby Wipes. I always get the fragrance free ones. There's 80 in here and it lasts me a lot because I don't use baby wipes to remove my whole face. I only use baby wipes when I'm being very lazy and I have not much makeup on or I use it whenever I'm like cleaning up stuff. Obviously I'm forever repurchasing those. I used this so long ago. This is a Sephora Rose face mask. I got this like a long time ago. It was like one of my first hauls. That just shows you like whenever I buy something, not even expensive, this was like six dollars, but I don't want to use it until 
I know I need to use it, if you know what I mean. First of all, this literally stayed on. No slippage at all. It had one of those like net things. The only thing I didn't like was there was no holes in the film. So like whenever you put it on your face, you couldn't see anything you were doing. So like I put it on and it was very rough and I took it off and then I had to like totally take it off and put it back on just like by itself because literally you couldn't see anything and you couldn't breathe. So you gotta hurry up. Nikki Churo said this was a great mask for like whenever your skin is in a flare up. I think I had just done like the Indian clay healing whatever that you know that one that's real intense and I think I might have left it on for too long or something and I did this and literally all the redness went down, no bumps, nothing and this was just like perfect. I would totally repurchase that but I don't know I haven't really been using sheet masks. I literally haven't used a sheet mask in like probably like three months or something. There's my vitamins. I always feel weird putting this in there. Is it weird that I use women's petites? Maybe that's the reason I'm not growing because I'm like, I'm petite. What if it's because I'm taking these and that's just a lie? I should actually be taking the actual women's ones because I need to be a woman, not a woman's petite. And these are my favorite razors. I've tried to use other ones since then and I literally either get razor burn and I, or I cut myself like eight times or it literally just doesn't shave. Like this is worth the money. Gillette Venus Sensitive Gentle Smoothness in One Stroke. Well, those is the Pearl Brightening and Firming Facial Mask um, Shop Miss A. And I'm pretty sure this one had a little lace thing in it as well. And it also like you couldn't breathe either and this one stayed on really well. But I remember this being really good because I literally went on the website and looked for this and then it wasn't even on there. And I liked it but you can't get it. So let's talk about tampon. So I used Tampax Pearl Active. Active is where it's at even if you're not active. I'm not active. And I just use regular and lights. I gave a whole explanation of them in the last ones. So you can go collect that the ones if you want to hear the little spin of them. These are Plackers Micro Mint. Always use these even though they're probably bad for the environment. I probably should just use floss because this is wasting a whole thing of plastic. But I don't really care because I probably wouldn't floss if it wasn't for these. Actually I would because I'm literally crazy about my teeth. And then I also recently cleaned out all my eyelashes from Cara because I think I realized I held on to them for way too long and don't even work. Okay. The 523 actually did repurchase these ones. 205, those were just way too natural. The DWs and the Wispies are also like really weird and wispy and you can barely see them. The 48s I actually really liked, but these were like one of the first pair of lashes I got, so I jacked them up and yeah. They're always sold on the website. Luella Lashes by AOA Studio, these are where it's at. I love AOA Studio lashes, but once again, messed these up because this was like the first time using AOA Studio lashes. I will repurchase that. I also have the Alexis ones in here, even though the lashes aren't even in here. It's probably because I got really irritated because there was a few videos where I literally had to use two different lashes because apparently there's an inconsistency and one of them will be super full and fluffy and the other one's like wispy. But I'm still gonna repurchase them because I love family look at my eyes. Everyone knows that this is my favorite mascara, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. My favorite. I'm finally throwing this away because I literally never use this. I know there's so many people that love this. I'm, see how I'm talking really fast, but it's fine. Laura Voluminous Original Mascara. I do not like it. This is very sad because this is from my first ColourPop order. I went to use Midi the other day. It's dry. This is Midi Avenue and LAX. Bye bye. I would totally repurchase Midi. I'm going for this Seventh Heaven Black Seaweed Peel Off Mask. Honestly, have no idea. Okay. Okay. Let's see. This is probably. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. I used to love this. This is a Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner, but now I use the Ultra Fine Tip one. This is a Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Colca Gel in the black one. This is definitely very dried out. I definitely just cut my hand open. Now that I use my Maybelline Master Precise Skinny, I literally can't use a thicker pencil than that because literally it will stab my eye. The last three things are all things that I haven't used up, but I will in the near future, except this one actually. This is Vanilla Bean Noel. It looks like it's full. It's probably down to like here. I got this like three, four years ago, and when you smell this in here, it smells fine. It smells just like Vanilla Bean Noel, but I like coated my hands on this and was about to put it on my arms, and it literally smelled so rank. Like it's so done. I feel like I'm being very hyper in this video, but I don't know why. Probably because I'm actually like filming a second video today and I'm like being all productive and we love productive meals. This is the one that I feel like I'm never gonna use up, but like there's really like none left, but I'm trying to use every last drop. Thick and full biotin and collagen weightless healing oil mist by OGX. I really liked this for my hair. This only came like a value pack. It smells so good, but like I used like another oil from the same brand and it's like it's a sprayer. It's the only other oil I think about. I always use that on my wet hair and then brush it out and then I also put it on my dry hair so then it's not really. The last 
thing is aquaphor there's still some coming out that much i've literally had this probably for like two years but y'all know this is an ever skincare video aquaphor is my favorite and this is the healing ointment for dry cracked and irritated skin there's like different ones apparently but i've always gotten this one i haven't tried the other one because don't fix it if it ain't broke. Love this. Already repurchased it forever. Well, repurchase it. So that was my empties video. If you like empties videos, please give this video a big thumbs up. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it. If you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. And also, if you did like this, then you would probably like any of my other videos. Especially because this one, I'm very hyper. I'm normally not this hyper, but you can probably find a view. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! If you want to see, 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 oh my word, but we love, but we love, but we love, but we love, but what does that smell? Okay, whatever. People are like, what? Why not say, don't like two months, and I'm like, don't care. That's probably why I don't have a boyfriend, but it's fine. Hey! Oof. Thank you. You'd expect that to be like a motorcycle or something. It's literally not. Okay. I'm so funny. I'm literally just laughing at myself. I'm so hot. Hope you enjoyed. I'm hyper. Yes. Bye. Who does that? Actually, everyone does. I'm like the only one who doesn't kiss my camera.